What if he did Rio's distinction and he combined to make 12, which loses the thing? Does that zero risk till or is because I think it's zero risk, but he's giving something up. I mean, there is what is a higher number I'm asking, really. I mean, I think you know the answer, don't you? Yeah. Based on how you're describing it. So, yeah, there you go. But say it, though, because I don't know what you your answer it. is. Yeah, you have to say it, Jess. Say it. The more you put into it, the more you risk, the, the more the reward is and the more the penalty is. Okay. So. But give an answer. How does the penalty increase if the information you give, depending on it? I mean, you can bet. You can make separate bets to it. Those are just the simple bets I put no, in. Oh, okay. Well, yeah, I just meant, like, how does the negative increase with what you've already bet? You lose more? Yeah, you can do. What, well, something you didn't bet? Hmm. It depends on how badly it goes and how much you're betting. What, what is how oh, badly? Oh, hold on. No, Jess, yes. You can't lose more than you've bet. Yes. Just uh, you you're just leading me into questions. No, yeah, I'm asking because I need to understand how this fucking magic machine works. If <laughs> I bet something and you said uh, you'll lose worse, what does that mean? If you bet with the contingency that you'll lose worse, then you'll lose worse. What? what? Why would you even what? bet? Like if, the... Go. Like if you bet five and if you lose, you'll lose ten. That's not what betting is. That's betting ten. It is? Yes. Yeah. yeah. Betting <laughs> is what you place on the chance of losing. So if you place five, the most you can ever lose is five. Yes. If you place 50, the most you can ever lose is 50. If you place one, the most you can ever lose is one. That's how betting works. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, there are double Wait. down functions that you can get. I'll bet you a code. Yeah, All right, but that's that's Give me your wallet. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> it's like, that's not part of the deal, Jeffrey. It's how the bet works. <laughs> I'm beating you up. All right, Magical hands just appear out of nowhere. So now you understand why we're confused. Good. Okay. Like, the risk comes from the initial bet. You stand to lose whatever you've wagered. If you bet more, you stand to lose more. If I because bet Maka, will I only get Maka in return? And if so, am I getting it from these people? Yeah. What the fuck? What? Wait, so, so all you, the No, the concept of the house... No, I'll just lose 100 maca one day because now me bet on it and took my 100 maca. Remember, I control the NPC. No, Jess, but I'm saying theoretically yeah. this is what's happening. Theoretically, really? yes. What the fuck, Jeff? Uh, you, no, if he bets 100 maca, it will be split because across the others. So. Yeah, but it's still magically so, losing wait, money. So basically, I we so are. So if I. Through. Yeah, you go. We're, we're suddenly subject to basically losing things that we don't even bet at this point. So if I bet my life and I win, I could kill, like, two people. Well, like, if I bet evens and I win, and I bet, uh, I, uh well, let's see, and I bet 110 maka, does that Why mean all the We're not trying to break it already. We're not trying to break it. We're trying to do the, maca? We're yeah. trying to do the first thing that comes to mind. That's not breaking. Okay. That's using the system. I'm sorry. Okay. Yes. The... Do you know the concept of the of the house? Do you understand that concept? It's the place. It's the house is basically a representation of the casino or whatever it is that basically funds the bill. So if I basically bet five dollars, I don't basically steal five dollars from somebody else. I steal yeah. five dollars from the house, which yeah. in this case would be Jeffrey. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And when you go up to when you go up to a roulette table, if you're only playing against the house, the people nearby don't have to give money when you win. They Even only the, do that when they're also betting against you. Actually, no. The way it, with a roulette table, the person standing next to you will never, you will never take money from that person ever, because the money they're giving goes to the house. Yeah, but wouldn't then all the information be about Jeffrey then? No, because they put in. Well, obviously, okay, the actually, okay, no, okay. I think I think I see where this is going. Where Jess is being confused. Yeah. The information can be about the different people, but when it comes to the money then it's probably Jeffrey who's putting it up. I mean, the point of the wheel isn't to use it like a traditional bet. Right. In that so case, then all it can be is just off, off information, no money used to actually bet. And yeah, maybe just say you can't bet money, then. Maybe just keep it to the magic shit, then. 
I mean, if you want to bet many that money, that means other people who have bet money will be in the same pool then. Well, yeah, but to bet money, we have to assume someone else has bet money and then waited for you to bet money. Yeah. I mean, it explains okay. why why market just randomly disappears. <laughs> if you opt in, I'll do that. I'll do the opt in thing. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. Yeah. That's good. That's good. Because there will be NPCs you opt in, but you I'm won't sure know who it is. I'm It'll sure be they're anonymous, all. unless that's you tell fine. people. It's now me, but I'm sure it's great. Well, unless that just, information is betted on. I get it. I get it now, but we just need to clarify. Wait a minute. Does that mean that if um, someone What's, were to bet money and lose, the money right. goes to the other people? Goes to people, so we could just randomly get money at some point. Yeah, if you opted in. Yeah. If we're yeah, opted in, we could randomly get or lose money, basically. We're aware of it, so basically it makes sense. You have to opt in for that. <laughs> That's putting your putting your cash for 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 up for crabs. I'm never opting in, yeah. That's insane. I'll opt in. Is there a <laughs> limit? Can I opt in with like a hundred maka be the limit and after that I've opted out? Like if I no, ever the opt in is permanent. Okay, you, can, you can opt in with one. Okay, I'm never opting in with Maka. Okay. <laughs> Not okay. that I'm going to do this, but can we opt in with XP? What the fuck? <laughs> no, no. I mean, you probably could, but... You can, but I'm I mean, you'll get, the... you'll get... There will obviously be in-game stuff for opting in with XP, but, you know... It's not like you're just throwing away XP. You will get something for it. Okay, so, Jess. Mm. I have a question. Yeah. Because I'm slightly autistic sometimes. Can I do a roll to figure out what information Akira has that would be valuable? Because I don't know what the global market is. No, I'm not, like, asking, tell me everything I know is valuable. But what's the scale of things that could come to her mind, and how would that transition to value? Because things that are valuable to her. Is it based on... Is it based off, well, let me ask, is the information based off the importance that you give to it rather than the world gives to it? Uh, think of it as information that everybody would get benefit from on the wheel. Or um, as yeah, so, what, so, yeah. so it wouldn't be based on how much you care about the information. It'd be mm -hmm. cared about how much the world cares. Yeah. Okay. I think if Remember, you're the world is also yourself. Well, yeah, but I mean, I mean, the world is in the other players. Right. So, okay. So, Kira has significantly less information to bet. Hmm. Are you sure I can't bet Rios? I mean, Akira's, Akira's, Akira's getting upset over being in a wheelchair. It's as important as Akira's being upset over Akira, Suzuki. Right. How in, okay. I think I get it. So, if I bet being upset over something... Would I get people who were upset over things in return? Yeah. Okay. What happens when I lose it? They just find out about it. Yes, I don't, like, they lose on memory. You don't lose anything. They just find out about it. Mm. All right. <laughs> Trying to figure out what the fuck I could bet. <laughs> I want to, but I can't. Yeah, that's uh, kind of hard. It's like, okay, try come up with something yeah. that might be valuable information about your character. That's why I want that. By that's why way, I felt autistic, but I really want to be able just, to roll. Just so you I don't, don't feel, just so you don't feel pressured. I was thinking of doing a side session for Kahari stuff anyway, so we can have a curious battle be a side session. Okay, that's cool. You're, thanks. You're right with that. Yeah, it's great. I'm cool All with right. that, dude. Thank you. All right. Uh, but yeah, would you call, but yeah, can I, uh, can I honestly <laughs> roll to see if there's anything I could immediately be on her mind? Cause she's, cause this is like in character, she's parsing through trying to grasp this concept and Akira is so you're basically asking I mean, for my advice as well. Yes, because Akira's not as clever as me, but she also probably has a better grasp on the situation of things. So I don't know. Yeah. What are you saying? Deb? I was just going to say, I mean, it is the initial bet to see how it works. Yeah. I mean, so, there's going to be a lot of things happening with the first bet. 
Yeah. <laughs> hey, no, I was I was gonna have a throw ball up and do something relatively worth it because I mean you know. All right. That's his threat. All right. So should I do like an an understanding roll? So just let's just everybody knows their numbers, right? Yeah. Yeah. Akira's talking shit a bit with the fucking yeah. Akira's odds. Akira's talking a bit with like shit about fucking the tarot. She has an idea of it. All right. So can I roll like an understanding or something first? I think the only people person that's even is um, Rio and Kaharu. Yeah. Everybody else is odd. Twelve. Is the sun not odd or even? That's a nineteen. I thought it was twenty. Maybe. No, twenty's judgment. Oh, yeah, you're right. Maybe. Yeah, I thought the moon should be the odd one. It'd be poetic. Oh, well. We should revise that tarot sense. <laughs> All right. So, yeah. Oh, God. So, if I'm betting right. it's odds, evens, find out. So, let's, let's say Akira bets on odds. She yeah. wins. All the... She, um... Uh, she. Uh, let me think about it. Akira bets that she'll say her dog's name is Barker. <laughs> if she wins, then um, because it's just a it's odds and even, just not as big as a bet as landing on yourself. If yeah. she wins, uh, she'll find she'll be able to if whatever odd one she landed on, she'll find out what their dog's name is. All right. Or an equivalent animal if they don't have a dog. All right. Get it. Yeah. Okay. If she lands on evens, then everybody, every even person knows what the curious dog's name is. <laughs> Man, you can shit post at this thing so hard. <laughs> Bet on one thing, say something stupid, and then whatever people enter Jeffrey, they have to listen to whatever stupid shit you told them. Man, good thing though, like good thing though, our characters are actually autistic, like I am, because that's all I do. With this <laughs> hey, Jeffrey. Al- Allison is in Mariah Carey. <laughs> Shit posting on the Jeffrey forum, dude. She would never trust Jeffrey. She already doesn't. Clearly, some so, Jewish control. Anybody wondering what the uh, what a uh, rumor loving uh, student's going to do with this? Ah, uh, he doesn't have a card. Fuck that guy. <laughs> I really want to land on Judgment and see what that card is. All right. Judgment's an even, so it'd have yeah, to be. Yeah, exactly. So I'm betting on evens, is what I'm saying, Jess. Oh, <laughs> I see. You're go- you're going for the uh, you're going for a more risky one. You're yeah. Not, you're not. You're not. Because in- your instinct is to vote for your own, right? Oh, I don't know. Fucking is it? I roll? Dude, I don't know what my instinct is. That's why I wanted to ask. Can I roll for that? Well, what are you betting? Well, I don't know yet. That's why I want to do it. Oh, I have to roll to figure out what's valuable. Okay, roll the tear is understanding of herself. You can add your the world modifier, which is a plus one. Plus one. I'm going to spend that intuition also since it's kind of right for a snap judgment. I was going to say, what happens if you bet information and then land on your number? You find Good out shit. more about yourself. Good you? shit happens. <laughs> yeah, basically, you find out more. You find out what you want to know. Shit about yourself is the most literal important thing in this game. We are enigmas. I got a nine, so ten. All right. So, are you, are you, is it, are you looking for the most important piece of information or a middling piece of information? She's looking like... I wanted to graph figure out as she's grasping it to think of things that are like, okay, what's important, what's, like, not important. Your position on Shin is very important, whether you trust him or you distrust him. Uh, all right. All right. So does Akira trust him or distrust him? Trust him. He's a sweet little boy. All right, are you going to bet that? Yeah, sure. And uh, you go in odds or evens? Evens. Alright. Let's roll. I roll. Odd. I spend. To re roll. Mm. All your PP? Yeah, all my one. Okay. Yeah! I did it! 
Judgment is neutral about sin. He, the judgment, the, the thing that represents judgment, does not have an opinion on people. It's I, neutral. Yeah. <laughs> it was made oh. to be neutral. That's the information you get. <laughs> you want to go eat a lunchbox and try again? Kind of. <laughs> They'll break out a lunchbox. They'll struggle and break out a little snack and tell for you. You're in Jeffries. Yeah, but I already have. I guess I'll buy one. Fine. <laughs> I, I still got to make my donation gift to him while I'm here anyway. Anyway, so uh, snack on a box and go on. All right, this is cool. You're going to do it. Also, only Akira hears this, by the way. Oh, nice. Ryu doesn't hear a thing. <laughs> Did Ryu hear what Akira was betting, or is that staying in she your said head? It, if she said it out loud, yes. If she just if, thought about it, no. If she doesn't have to, she wouldn't have. Come she on. doesn't have to. Alright. Okay. You don't have to say it out loud, or anything. She says, from the rice she's eating. Okay, um... I guess the information Ryu will use is, um... Considering his family did go to cover it, he'll put up the information about how he got, basically, his big break point earlier about him, uh... Attacking his guidance counselor at the old school. Damn. All right. You bet. So, uh, odds or evens, or are you going to try and bet on your own number? Uh, odds. Odds. All right. Damn. That means I won't get to hear it if you lose. All right. I'll spend all. All right. Oh. The sun. Did it. <laughs> yep. You did it. So uh, I guess an equivalent thing I'd have to ask Matt. Any, 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 any embarrassing or shameful thing Reiko did before she joined the academy? Uh, Could be Himiko also. No, you find Rio, Rio, Ryu finds this information about about Reiko because he won. That's only yeah. I meant I meant because she's also the side. Yes. Oh yeah, it's also Himiko as well. It'll be both yes. of you. Yes. Fair, also, I, I, don't know if it, I don't know if it's exactly embarrassing. I'm going to so go to Reiko really first. Yeah. So. To be honest, I don't have her idea right now. Uh, I, could I can... I can... Well, maybe not necessarily embarrassing, but more like a point in your life where it's like huge, massive change for the negative. Yeah, that's what I was saying. It's not just like, ooh, haha, there's this one embarrassing story where I assaulted my guidance counselor. Not exactly like, ooh, I peed myself, but no one noticed. It was more like, yeah. Yeah, um, yeah everyone around me treated me like a freak and everything went Yeah, but you got to remember, he took the odds or evens isn't as hardcore as um, betting on yeah. you. Yeah, mother... Ugh. Yeah, but he's going to get the same level of information. Yeah, I know, less. that's why I have trouble. I'm not, I'm not saying he's getting less. Would it be when she saw no Katsumi try to kill herself? Because that was pretty bad. That's it actually really a about good her. idea. There you go. I that's actually that's a very really... good idea. Because... Yeah, no, no, but Raph, it's, about, but wait, it's, Dave, it's about a point in his life. It, because... It's not like Ryu got assaulted. I mean, on the other hand, maybe I, I didn't think about it because Ryu said... Because I heard that I have to think about something that happened before I joined the Academy. And Suicide Forest happened, you know. I mean, he oh, clarified, I, can, I mean, can, Jess can, was saying that, but he clarified uh, that he's mainly looking for Oh, okay, for then, yeah, Suicide All right. Forest qualifies as a wrong point, so he knows about... I mean, he knows <laughs> what Reiko saw, so that she saw that uh, her persona and Katsumi herself wanted to kill herself. At least that's how Reiko uh, saw it. Right. <laughs> Meanwhile, the curse is munching on the ground like, your judgments like shits are right. All right, so when, when the wheel lands on the 19, Ryu gets a flash, and he, he can see, like, the, the, the past event in his mind. 
in a very it's it's like you is almost there and then we get the himiko being like i spilled something no <laughs> you just kind of see ryu just kind of stumble a bit Uh, did you lose? No. So, what's the one for Himiko? <laughs> Alright, so when did her life turn for the worst? Oh, yeah, I mean, a position in her life where she, like, <laughs> she did something really stupid girl. and uh, yeah. caused a problem. Caused a problem. I guess when, uh, when she discovered that she is a manifestation of Tamamo no Mai. It's Tamomo. Can you put that? It's Tamomo. 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 I only Tamomo. know that because Fate Grand Order. <laughs> yeah, and that one. You're weak. Uh, ah. And that this is seen as an omen. Ah. A bad one. Sick. <laughs> there you go. Right, could you put um, out the name? I'll just give you the Wikipedia page. Okay. Okay. That doesn't mean you might know it, but for outside reference, sure. Right. <laughs> Sick. I mean, you don't know the context. At all. At all. Even if you read the page, that won't tell you the context. Right. Sick. Well, that's information. What'd you got? I wanted to see what people thought of Shin. Apparently the 21 thinks he's like, yeah, so-so. I don't know if I can really give these informations. This is kind of like bad things in the past. Uh, I mean, I guess. If it bothered you, I mean... I guess I can't really cry. Well, you know, you need to talk about it. It's not like I'm going to blab it. Can I believe you on that? You should be able to. She <laughs> says putting her box down. I mean, if you can't, that's fine, but I mean it. Right. Um, I saw a point where someone remembered where it looked like... It Sumi almost went off a cliff. Oh. Yeah. That. Woo. That's pretty rough. Uh, I kind of, kind of caught that one, too. Not from now, but yeah, that might have happened. Right. Confidentiality, but I caught wind of that. Um, right. Some rough um, shit, dude. Yeah. No context either about what was going on. Just images. And... It's going through a bit of a hard time. So it would seem. Or she's been going through a hard time for a while. Yeah. <laughs> she was just trying to awkwardly somber. Are you familiar with the name Tamomo no Mai? I know a couple Mai's, but, uh, no. Ah. Uh, because apparently it's a bad omen to be a reincarnation or something of it. Do reincarnations exist? I wouldn't be surprised. Uh. How do you tell someone's a reincarnation or something? Well, for someone. Considering they're part of the major clans, it wouldn't surprise me if there was a way. I guess, if we're just taking their word for granted on that. Well, kind of have to. I don't know any other way to. Yeah, but maybe it's just, you know, like a demon thing. It's not like a really being reincarnated or something. Maybe reincarnated is the wrong word for that. Uh, who knows? Uh, uh, 
Right, I... Okay. I don't know if I want to play this game anymore. Hmm. I just need to figure out some better stuff to get out of it. Hmm. Hey, Jeff, is this normally going to have, like, a fee to play in the future? Or is this also going to be normally free? Oh, the bet... I mean... There's other stuff you can play in here for free. You guys just really like the wheel. You you, you pay what you get. Right. Cool. Thanks, Jeff. I guess I'll play a couple of the other games for now. Oh, okay. Hmm. And, uh, yeah, I guess... I mean, Carrie will be willing to talk a bit more for you, but I guess I'll hang out here for a bit before she has to go off and do the rest of her stuff. Yeah, same here. There's a bunch of traditional games. It's not like an arcade, but you know what I mean. Yeah. There's cards and stuff like that. We can play some shows. More like a casino. We can play some shows. So they have pachinko. Oh, God. Thousands, I'm sure. We can play some Metal Gear Pachinko. Pachinko. Oh, Jeffrey Pachinko. Tarot Pachinko in the corner. (laughs) We can play some Shogi. It'll be great. You have Delivery Boy, where you're a Jeffrey Delivery Boy. (laughs) They have Hanafuda. Yes. Nice. Let's play. You have you you spend time with you in the games room and you discover the wheel. Uh, cool. Of fortune. <laughs> All right. Yeah. You feel your bond with Jeffrey grow a bit. Nice. Oh yeah, and we learned the most important thing that we can stop Jeffrey from disappearing. Yes. I guess the bond between Ryu and Akira grows a little bit as well. Okay. Yes. So I no, guess... They're kind of wrapping up before she heads... Oh, sorry, do you... Oh, no, go into you. Yeah, that's fine. Before, like, they're heading out, she'll be like, well, this was still fun. Learned some important stuff, I guess. So that's good. Yeah. Uh, yeah. We'll probably want to Scratch the back of her head. Uh, see if we can help everyone with some of the stuff we can learn with this. And help Jeffrey also. But, uh, on a less serious note, if. I mean, if you kind of get cooped up at home, you can just give me a call and you can, like, swing by my place or something. I mean, there's not a lot to do, but if you've been in the city all your life, you might enjoy the rural scene. I mean, just relax a bit so you don't have to see all these people breathing down your neck. Right. So I'll keep that in mind. It's probably not going to be after the, till after the big party. Mm. That sounds awful. So good luck with that. Yeah. I knew Boxing Day was such a big thing. <laughs> Misinterpretation of Western holidays, I guess. Hey, if you want to give him an aneurysm, you can say I'm your plus one. Uh, that would certainly be an interesting one. Mm-hmm. But anyway, I gotta go drop off some more gifts for people and stuff. So, uh, I'll talk to you later then? Yeah. Oh, and thanks for the demonizers. Appreciate right. It. Just... Don't stick them anywhere too weird, I guess. Where were you thinking I'd put them? I don't know, and to be quite honest, I get the feeling I don't want to know. Jeez. I know you thought I was some weird degenerate. I gotta have a little fun as we're leaving to get me through this time. If that's your definition of a little fun, then. Besides, you and your animals. Uh. I'm pretty sure most of them are already demons. Don't think they do well in Wu's domain without that. Eh, maybe, maybe not. But thanks, anyway. Alright, have a good one. You too. Thank you. On the way out, she'll uh, drop 50 mark off for Jeffrey as a Christmas donation. Ooh, well done. It's on one of my gift sheets. Hi. It's already a team. (laughs) 
<laughs> Stick my demonizer on a persona. Ooh. <laughs> Attention to a world. Nothing changes because it's already demonic. Ooh. I guess maybe you could change its type. I wouldn't. It wouldn't be that cheap. It wouldn't work. <laughs> yeah, exactly. All right. Wukong, you're not a beast. You're a element. You want Shit, I should probably write the types next to these. Yeah. That's a good idea. Thanks, friend. No problem. Okay, you want to you wanna switch to someone else before we continue with what Akira's going to do? Yeah, that's fine. Right, we on. are, we just, are just, on the one day a, um, yeah. one day a week, so. Sorry. It's Dad. Fine. <laughs> I'm sorry, Dad. I'm thinking too much. All right. Fucking love is like, I hate Sundays. What just, bike is going on Sunday? What the fuck would Kumasaka be? Oh, Dave alter question, human. Yeah. Alter. The alter oh, yeah, human. Alter Dave human. has a question. Did yeah, you know, just, it was a minor thing. Is just uh, talk about Christmas gifts. Have you gone over? I mean, I know I'm the delinquent nope. one and basically sending it to you for like several months, but I have not. Okay. I'll be right back. I'm gonna go grab something. Would that be she be magic? Or... Would he be divine? Of course, he'd be divine. divine. He's a god. Yeah. Well, just because he's a god doesn't mean it's a divine god. I guess. Wait, huh? But Eversus is like the, the, the castaway son of Izanami and Izanagi. Like the first son. Ah. The very first. Ah, as everybody no, has as different in, types. As, in as, as far as the Japanese are concerned, <laughs> Ebisu is the third god to ever exist. Nice. Yeah. I mean, he was a failure, so they send him away. But, you know, still. Maki makes killer sucker. Everybody has a different type. What would cut? What would Moby shit? Hmm. Wouldn't. Hmm. Let me take a look at. And for a moment, I was like, I don't see anything for Shax, but then I like, I zoom in. Shax has fallen. Yeah, because I didn't saw that written at first. I'm like, I don't yeah, see anything. Yeah, because it's black. Oh, yeah. and then I see it. He's a, yeah, he's a devil. He comes from hell. <laughs> Mo's a machine. <laughs> machine. Uh, Mo would probably be like an altered human or, uh, what, uh, fallen? Yeah, probably. Maybe a mixture of the two. I'd have nice. to look at... The entire spectrum we have. Yes. All right. You don't have any machines. A what? Uh, machines. A machine resource. Okay. Yeah. Oh well. We don't have uh, any machines. Most we don't not have an elemental. elemental. Yeah. That's it. She's an elemental fish. I guess would Shax be a neutral fallen? I guess. Yeah. Okay. I guess Mo would be a magic femme. Mm -hmm. That's a chaotic magic. Mm -hmm. All right. But uh, as as uh, that's the that's the details. All right. Cool. All right. Akira went from beast to beast. I went from fallen to altered human. Yeah. Well, to answer your question, Dave, no, I haven't looked at the list. Uh, I've been tired. I don't know what, even know what I did last week. No problem. What did, I, what did I do last week? What do you mean by last week? No, before Sunday. Before Sunday? Yeah. What did I do? Not, I don't know. Of course you wouldn't know. <laughs> Only <laughs> I know. <laughs> mm -hmm. Maybe you need to get yourself a GoPro for wherever you go, Jess. <laughs> I didn't go outside the fucking house. That's what I know for that sure. <laughs> anyway. I was going Start to your own YouTube channel so you know what you're doing. <sighs> I was doing other things, I think. You were drawing. No, I remember what I was doing. 
So I started doing the law for the families that Reka would know. I'm not finished yet, but I've completed the only like history and I've completed the Tengu history. It's in the the it's actually in the handouts in the Yamato Damage section. That's what I was doing. So uh if you go to the world NPCs, Yamato Damacy, yep. families, there and then you'll is. see Tengu creation history and well, only creation history in their respective folders. That's what I was doing. I remember. Very, very good. Suten Doji. But I haven't finished it yet. I still need to write up the Kitsune and what the heirloom abilities actually are for each family. But I did the general history for the Tengus and the Oni. <laughs> there. That's nice. I did do something. All right. Uh-huh. But that's a pretty long read, so you can probably read it later. So. All right. So, we are going to take a break from Akira and Ryu to back to the summit, I guess. I wouldn't oppose it. <laughs> but I should summit... get some since I was told an hour and a half ago. And I'll probably burn out if I don't eat anything today. So yeah, then go ahead. I can take like a 20 minute like break. And you yeah. guys can talk about the wheel. I guess. <laughs> no, there's not a lot to talk about on that subject. I think there we did a... that. Nope. Oh, okay. Anyway. We'll plot against uh, you somehow, don't worry. I'll be right back.